Are you looking for a tutorial to help you connect your Squarespace website to Google Search Console? If that's the case, then you've made it to the right video. That's what I'm gonna walk you through in today's tutorial. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, I'm Mariah from MariahMagazine.com. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to walk you through the easy breezy process of connecting your Squarespace website to Google Search Console. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to want to do is obviously log into your Squarespace website. Okay, so before we get into the nitty gritty details of some things, I just wanted to make a few notes before we get started. So in order to make this process easy peasy, make sure that you are not on a trial version of Squarespace, okay? So usually when you're on a trial version of Squarespace, there's a cute little bar here that lets you know that you are on a trial version of Squarespace. Okay, and the reason being is that we want to connect your actual domain name to Google Search Console. We do not want to connect the internal Squarespace website. So this, we don't want to connect this to Google Search Console. We want to connect your actual domain name. And in order to connect an actual domain name to a Squarespace website, you have to have like upgraded to a paid subscription, okay? And then once you have done that, I would just want you to double check that your domain name is the primary domain with Squarespace. So let's double check that really quick. Head over to settings, click on domains, and we can see that this website that I'm using for the tutorial, we can see that the primary domain name is the domain that we want to move forward using. If you have not connected your domain name already, go ahead and do that now. So whether you are purchasing a domain name through Squarespace itself, or maybe you have already purchased a domain name through a third party like GoDaddy, you can click this, use a domain that I own, it'll walk you through the entire process or if you wanna purchase one through Squarespace, just click get a domain. So if you're connecting a domain name from a third party, like GoDaddy, Namecheap, whatever, it might take up to 72 hours on its own to, to connect from that third party over to your Squarespace website. Okay, so you might have to pause this tutorial and then come back when your domain name is connected and you'll be able to see if it's connected because you will see this cute little green connected text underneath your domain name. So if your domain name is connected and good to go, make sure that you do not have your website password protected. We want to make sure that our website is 100% ready to get found on Google when we connect our Squarespace website to Google Search Console, okay? So if you head back into the settings, site availability, we wanna make sure that this baby says public, okay? So I just wanted to make some notes about all of that stuff and now, Let's get started. So I'm just gonna get out of this menu quick. We're gonna go to the main menu. What we're gonna do is click analytics. And then you are going to click search keywords here. And then you're gonna see Google search keywords, verify your site with Google. That's what we wanna do. This is going to be setting up Google search console. Okay, so go ahead and click this connect button here. And you'll see a pop up for you to choose the Google account that you want to connect this website with Google Search Console, okay? So you have to have a Gmail account with Google in order to use their free tool, Google Search Console, okay? So if you don't have an account set up already, you can open up a new tab, create your free Gmail account, do whatever you gotta do. I'm just gonna go ahead and connect it to the Gmail account that I already have here. And then it's going to ask you this little thing. I'm not gonna go ahead and to tell you to click allow, but if you don't click allow, then you can't connect it. So I'm gonna go ahead and click allow. And then you gotta give it just a few seconds to connect there. If it's connected properly, you will see you're connected. So take note that it might take up to 72 hours for your data to start showing up in here in Squarespace. So you'll be able to eventually click home, click analytics, click search keywords, and you'll be able to see your Google Analytics data in Squarespace itself. I honestly prefer to look at this data in the Google Search Console 
dashboard on its own. Okay, so in order to head over there, you can just go to, you can just Google search, Google search console. It will pop you right in to your account here. So we just wanna make sure that the account that we just set up is all good to go. So yes, right here. So you should be able to see your URL right here if it's set up correctly. So you could go ahead and click on that. And if you're looking at this right away after connecting it, you're probably gonna see this exact same notification that I'm seeing. It's processing data. It's gonna take a little bit for Google to be like, mm, what is happening here? We need to have a minute to like add some data into this dashboard, okay? But before you close out of Google Search Console completely, there is another thing that I'd like you to do quick, okay? So I would like you to add your sitemap to Google Search Console. What this is going to do is, your sitemap is essentially like a roadmap of all of your content on your website. The, the sitemap is, is in a structure that Google understands really well. So what we wanna do is we wanna add our sitemap over here. So click on sitemap and you're gonna see your URL right here. So since you're on Squarespace, your sitemap URL should be the exact same URL that I'm about to type in, sitemap dot xml okay if you want to double check that you can open up a new tab and then just do sitemap dot xml and it should look something like this okay so this is your xml sitemap that google loves reading in order to figure out what the content on your page is what the structure of the content is on your website all of that fun stuff okay so go ahead and just enter that in right there click submit it's gonna submit your sitemap. So we're gonna click, got it, sounds good. You see the status, it says couldn't fetch. Don't freak out, click the refresh button and it will likely say success, okay? <laughs> that couldn't fetch notification, I literally get it every time I add a sitemap. So don't freak out, hit refresh. And then once that is good to go, once you submit your sitemap, it just makes it easier for Google to crawl your website, see what content's on your site, and then be able to put you in Google's index. Because if you're not in Google's index, then you're not being found in Google search results, okay? So adding your sitemap is like tapping Google on the shoulder and being like, yo, I got a new website, it's ready for you to crawl, okay? So, that is basically it for connecting your Squarespace website to Google Search Console. So you might note when Squarespace updates this that you'll be able to see some data here in Squarespace itself, but you'll probably also notice that you can see a lot more things in Google Search Console. So what I like to tell my clients is like, hey, if you just wanna check up on some search keywords, what you're showing up for on Google, you can go into your Squarespace website, you can check your search keywords. If you want to look more in depth in things, head over to Google Search Console itself, okay? You're gonna be able to see performance, so how your website is doing. Uh, your keywords that you're gonna be showing up on Google for is gonna be listed here under queries. You're gonna be able to see the pages that are showing up on Google. You're gonna see this cute little data graph here. You will also eventually be able to see if there's any coverage or crawling errors on your website. So just getting familiar with the Google Search Console dashboard itself, it's just really, really helpful when it comes to understanding how Google is seeing your website. But that's about it for the actual connection process. So my friends, that is it for today's tutorial. If you guys found this video helpful, give me a really quick thumbs up. And then if you're not already subscribed to the channel, what are you doing? Hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, and if you have any questions at all, go ahead and comment them below this video. But until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.